Hey guys, so we will be getting Quina, and Quina is a crazy, crazy, crazy character. So first of all, let's just talk about Quina's FR. So should we use her FR as a main FR or as an Echo? So well, that really depends because her FR can be pretty generic, but you need to increase that frog stack to 10. Because once it is at 10, then you and your party will be able to get a generic 40% increase. So that comes to the condition where if you are able to increase his frog stack fast enough or not because he start at 1 and you have to increase it all the way up to 10. Every time during Quina's turn, it increased by 1 and if Quina's break the enemy, then it increased by an additional of 1. So he, she start with her EX. So her EX breaks the enemy and she taking a turn so that increased by 2. So you uh, have 3 stacks. And I did some form of simulation like I did continue the play and I see how fast without a fast charging character. By the time I hit 100% where I'm able to enter a force time, Queen R is just about seven, 6 or 7 stack. So that is actually quite annoying in my opinion because if you activate FR at that point, you will, be, you will not be able to meet all of her condition to reach that 40%, okay, because it is not at 10 stack. But do note that her FR will break the enemy, so increase by 2 stack. And if you spam AA, then is every time you use the AA, then it's 1 stack. So in a way, if you plan it properly, you can reach 10 stack, but it doesn't really feel that good. So if you did not bring any fast charging, then you need that full turn to reach 10 stacks. So if you have any form of fast charging, then she definitely will not be able to hit 10 stack by the time your force gauge is charged. So do keep that in mind, I find that to be her weakness. But anyway, if you really need to, then you can always use Luna LD Call because Luna LD Call will directly give Quina 3 turns in a row for her to build up her stack, which is enough. Um, or close to enough for her to reach 10 stacks. And the next condition is the party need to be hitting 9,999 Brave. And that is not always the case um, because if you are bringing some character that is not really hard hitting and especially against the boss that has high defense like the fight that we will be fighting for Quina's event have huge uh, reduction and defense. So it is quite hard for the character to hit 9999. So in that case, you probably will not meet uh, Quina's condition, but given that you can meet everything, then her FR is actually pretty generic. You get 70% uh, per turn, and that's actually pretty good. So only if you can, then you should use uh, Quina's FR as the main FR. Do note that often if Quina's trap uh, breaks the enemy, then it will also increase the frog stack by one. And with that condition, I rate her FR somewhere in the range of 3.5 to 4. Uh, it can be quite good. So, but most of the time, because people will probably bring a charger in their team and want to go into FR as soon as possible you will end up using Quina's FR mainly or mostly as, a, as an Echo FR. So going to the next part which is Quina's BT, do you need Quina's BT? Definitely yes, you must have Quina's BT because one of the main reasons that she is hype is because of her BT effect. So her BT effect, uh, I'm sorry that in my writing I write him, actually I'm pretty confused whether he, Quina is a him or a her. Even the game sometimes refer to as him in different version is her. So whatever it is, I noticed Thornberry used they, so maybe I should use that as well. Anyway, their BT effect will increase everyone's, not increase, but basically make everyone's HP dump cap. Okay, so even if you are like dealing zero HP damage, you will still cap. So zero HP damage, you will end up doing 200 HP damage. So that is really crazy because there's a lot of bosses like the one that we just fought, Hellhouse, when you activate their when the Hellhouse activate their force time, then they will not be able to deal any damage at all. 
the party will not be able to deal any damage at all. And with Queen BT is like, you just ignore that. You will be dealing full damage. Activate your FR, activate your what, whatever you want. Then you will be dealing, dealing full damage, millions of damage. So he kind of like, they kind of like bypasses everything. So if you have limited resource, you cannot pull for all our characters, especially ongoing where you need to specifically pull for certain FR character to cancel the boss first time and you are not able to pull, then Quina is your solution. So if you are a new player and you lack the resources or the roster, then Quina is a very, very important to have. Secondly, her BT effect also gives her the ability Cook, which is an upgraded ability from her F F S1 and Cook is 12 plus 1 HP dump and that is really really strong so if you enter her BT phase and then for the first 5 turn you use Cook she will be dealing a lot a lot of damage but do note that her BT effects only 5 turns so even in a full BT phase she is not able to have her BT effect up all the time so at the last turn you will not be able to use Cook but you can use her FR attack which is also hitting very hard so just a note that if you are a veteran player, you probably have the team. Like if you bring Sarah, if you bring Aerith with another support, you already have enough to cap on damage. So you don't really technically need to bring Quina. And especially when you are having character coming in like Kor, which deal off turn damage uh, during a BT phase, they like Kor technically increases the overall damage. So Quina doesn't provide that. Which is why in my JP account, I do not use Quina that often. I rather use um, Wise, Core, or um, Aerith for her Echo Charging. Because most of the time, I'm already in the position where my character are already hidden cap anyway. So I do not need uh, Quina's BT effect. But nevertheless, just because of that, she's able to bypass a lot of mechanics. I will consider Quina's BT a 5 over 5. Now, for her kit, so Quina is kind of like a support character that helps you to cap on damage. So I consider that as a support. And he has traps. She has traps. So traps means she can work as an often attacker. But do note that her EX and FR breaks the enemy, so probably don't use that if you're using her as an often unit. And once her frog stack reach 10, she does rainbow damage. So she's a very good brave shaver. So that is basically her role. So how do you use Quina? So first of all, if you're using her as a support, it's very simple. Just use her BT and then activate FR on any other unit. Or if she's already having 10 stack, then you can activate her FR and then you can play off turn or you can enter another character's BT phase right because they will be hitting cap especially if you are bringing unit like Zazak, Cloud, uh, Aerith they will be hitting full damage on their BT finisher which really hits really 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 hard okay so it's a very simple way to use Quina especially if you're a new player you don't know what you're doing so just make sure to be using all the hard hitting attack after you activated Quina's BT effect and entered FR so that is the simple uh, way to go about it so another way is, another thing is that her trap hits really hard and it triggers before enemy so it is something like Maria so like if enemy is not broken and now it is enemy stun. So the trap will trigger and break the enemy and the enemy will be delayed by a turn. So if you have the enemy like having um, A and then B. So now you activate the trap on A. A breaks, it go behind B. B stun, B break, go behind A. And then the trap will activate again on A. So this will give you 4 activation. Right, so that really really is very painful because each trap is 5 HP dumps. And that makes Quina a very good often characters you use but just beware like i say ex and fr has rebreak and if you are going for often strategy you do not want to break and delay the enemy you want the enemy to take as many turns as possible so i would suggest or recommend you to not use the echo until the very end like if you are having one or two turns left with your force time then you can start spamming her f uh, echo fr and here just to note that uh, Quina, Altimisha and Selfie has quite a spe special condition going on. Um, Selfie provides EX, faster EX charge and Quina's 
um, EX buff also has that condition. So this actually ultimately gives Ultimatia unlimited turn. Ultimatia uses her ability, charges her EX, her EX grant two additional use of her ability. Now she can use her EX again, then use her ability again and EX again, so their turns never end. So that is kind of like a broken um, team comp here where they can win any fight as long as the fight doesn't have a HP gate. Because in regards of condition, as long as you have Queen Arts BT effect up, Ultimatia will be doing max damage. Okay, so but this fight is really slow because you won't be able to use force time and yeah, you probably take like at least an hour to run the fight. So if you're up for that, then go ahead. I personally do not fancy this form of team composition. I probably will be doing one for demonstration purposes, but moving on, I probably won't be using that that much, but I probably will note if they are usable to cheese a certain fight. So anyway, when to use Quina? Well, Quina, you can use it anytime, anywhere, whatever condition she bypass it. So she is really good. I have seen uh, a lot of player win a lot of fight having Quina in the party. Which is why I say if you like a certain unit to cancel boss force time or deal with certain HP damage reduction, so just bring Quina. But do note that in future fight with HP, get, uh, HP gates, Boss HP will not go down even if they were damaged. So even if you're dealing, dealing full damage, 1 million, 2 million, their HP will not go down. It is not like Hell House. Hell House has a buff. So if you remove the buff, then you can damage them further. But going on, there are several fights coming up that the enemy outright HP doesn't reduce unless a certain condition is met. So like the fight uh, for Leo's event, you have to delay the enemy by 2 turns. So only if you delay the enemy by 2 turns, then you can damage the enemy. And in that condition, don't use Queen, Artemisia and Selfie, because Artemisia doesn't delay the enemy by 2 turns. But Selfie does, I guess, with her LD, so you can just pass the turn on. Okay, whatever it is, um, if you enjoy Queen, Artemisia, Selfie, you can use it, but I, yeah, I don't have to repeat that again. Anyway, her overall score, I give it a 10 over 10. Uh, this is mostly for a new player. For veteran player, you can decide on it. I will still consider her to be a good off turn unit and probably fun to play with. Like she can work off turn, on turn. So I will still give her a 9 over 10 even if you're a veteran. So I personally will definitely pull for her. And yeah, that's about it for Queena. So thank you for watching and have a good day.